to end by talking a little bit about your leaders and the Jewish leaders in general. Every program that I'm on, they always say, you know, you're anathema to the Jewish leaders. If they only knew how much the Jewish leaders are anathema to me. An unbroken record of decades of the destruction of the Jewish people. The Holocaust has become our golden calf. And speeches and books, the Holocaust, and it's almost an orgy how we love to attack the world. Roosevelt and the British and the Vatican and all the goy. I'm always amazed at how Jews attack Gentiles for not having done enough for, for the Jews. Did you expect more? Tell me that. Did you expect them to help you? On the thousand Christians killed in Lebanon, what did the Vatican do for the Christians <coughs> but to help us? I'm never surprised that Gentiles don't, hurt, don't, don't help Jews. I don't expect them. The lesson of the Holocaust is not that Gentiles didn't help Jews. The lesson is that Jews didn't help Jews. That's the lesson of the Holocaust. Jewish leaders from whom we had every right to, to expect that. <coughs> Don't let them lie to you, we didn't know. They knew as early as 1942. Three years before the war ended. They knew that Jews were being exterminated. And they knew that Jews begged them to save them by bombing the railroad lines, leading, leading, leading to these death camps, and the bridges over which the freight cars ran. There was 12,000 Jews died every day in those camps. And the Jews said, if you, if, if you bomb the railroad lines, the bridges, put them out of commission for a day, you say 12,000 lives, two days, three days, a week. They told the Jewish leaders here, shake the world. Who shook the world? Who shook the world for the Jewish people? The same temple rabbis, the same AJC, the federations, who in the 1960s went to Jackson, Mississippi, and Selma, and were arrested there for blacks and civil rights. Who shook the world for Jews and Jewish lives? Remember there was one rabbi in Cleveland, his name was. he used to boast that how he went to uh, Jackson, Mississippi, and they broke his right arm. They should break his left arm too, because he never did anything for the Jews. If the Jews would have been led by by their leaders, by all these temple types who bleed for everybody. If the AJC and the, the, the AJC, the, uh, the uh, Congress and your committee, the B'nai B'rith, the Federation, the temples would have closed down for a day and led 100,000 Jews to Washington, to the White House in 1942, and then sat down on Pennsylvania Avenue, break the, break the law, sit down. And shout and pound and say, Bom Auschwitz, Bom Auschwitz. What would have happened? What would have happened? Two things would have happened. They would have been arrested. Believe me, no, get no sweat. You're in and out. <laughs> and secondly, and secondly, the next day every newspaper in the free world would have had headlines, Jewish leaders arrested, the man bombing of death camps, and they would have been bombed. And hundreds of thousands would have would have been saved. Why didn't they do it? Because they were terrified. Roosevelt said to them, don't make this a Jewish war. It will create anti-Semitism. And so they were afraid for themselves. That's what Jewish leaders